Hi, my name's Kira, and I'm addicted to Dollar Tree. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another Dollar Tree haul with you guys. I'm so excited because I have wish list items. I went three times over the last two weeks and this is a cumulative haul over all the things I've collected those three times that I went. I was like obsessed with continuing to go back to my two favorite Dollar Trees and find some of these items because I am tired of watching everybody haul these things and me not be able to start setting my house up for spring and preparing for decor. It's getting crunch time where Easter is right around the corner so I want to start preparing and I could not find anything. So I continued to go back and I scored really big. So let me show you what I got the last two weeks at the DT. Starting off with some food items, I do have a bunch more sporadically in here, but this I thought was a super great deal. These are the Organic Hunts Diced Tomatoes. Last time that I got these, I hauled the fire roasted. They didn't have those this time, but these were two for a dollar, and these work out really great. I'm gonna show you with what in a minute, but these worked very similar to Rotel. So let me show you what else I got the Dollar Tree, and they worked together are so great. So here are some of these Velveeta cheese sauce pouches. So this one is just the original and then this one is a jalapeno. They are four ounces. So what I did last time is I put this one in a bowl and I put one of the jalapenos in a bowl and I added a can of the Hunt's Diced Organic tomatoes and it was perfect like having any kind of Velveeta Rotel dish we use this queso for Super Bowl it was absolutely delicious so if you guys go definitely keep an eye out for that because it was so good always be hauling my bread at the DT but I absolutely love these Claudia bakery rolls Nicole Bird just turned me on to them and there's six of these rolls in a package they usually last for a really long time uh yeah this expiration date is not until the 11th of march but they freeze really well and the perfect suggestion for these is to pop them in the oven at like 325 for five minutes with like a pad of butter and some garlic on top oh my goodness they're so great so i picked two of those up almost out of breadcrumbs and I really love the Progresso Italian breadcrumbs. I've been growing up on this since I was a little kid. Uh, this one is the 15 ounces but this really ends up being the better deal because it's like six or seven dollars for one that's a little bit larger at BJ's and I don't use breadcrumbs that often so whenever I need one I grab one from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I have a funny story about these donuts. So I mentioned that this is a cumulative haul and I've gone over the past two weeks. And when I went, this was like when my family came out to visit for my Fifty Shades party. And this was prior to Valentine's Day. So I forgot some of the things that I got. And I was excited when I went to this Dollar Tree a couple of weeks ago and saw the Tasty Cake Donuts. My husband loves these white powdered Tasty Cake Donuts and you cannot beat them for a dollar. Um, it actually says $2.99 on the package, which is what they are at Walmart. So you can't beat them. They don't expire until the 29th of March. So when I saw them, I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab two packages for the hubby. Well, I forgot that I hadn't given it to him because the bags have been in my closet so I finished shopping enough to get a haul. So I bought two more. So I'm glad hubby likes donuts because he's going to be eating donuts for a good long while. So I finally found the owl soaps. I was so excited to find them. I did pick up two. I only have one here because I sent one home in a care package um, for one of my girlfriends for Valentine's Day. I sent her the mint green one, which smells like pear. This is the strawberry scented. I mean, how little cute is this guy? I love how Dollar Tree has been digging all the owls lately. And this stuff smells really good. I'm kind of like finicky about my hand soaps. 
but this one smells really delicious and I love the little guy and I'll probably reuse him like in the kids bathroom because they're so cute so another wish list item that I was looking for that I found on an end cap and these are the shea butter fruit scented hand um, lotions. I really wanted the peach one. They had every one, of course, but the peach one, but I did get the apple one. I did hear from a couple of people that the apple one smells really good. Um, they did mention, though, that there's not a lot of lotion in here, so I haven't opened it yet, uh, but they mentioned that there's not actually a lot in here, but it's good quality lotion for the amount that you get, so that's really good to know, but I am excited, so I picked this up. So on that same end cap with those apple and pear and lemon scented hand soaps was also these cute little unicorn lip glosses. You guys, these things are so stinking cute. Like I love the detail on them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Now I love unicorns. I collect them. I have a tattoo of a unicorn on my back. So purple is my favorite color so I did pick up this grape one for myself and then the apple scented one I'm gonna send off to my friend Meredith I'll attach her channel down below but she's been looking for this for a long time and she actually lives not too far from me so I'm just gonna send this on my way to her so she can have it so seriously guys I said to you that this first trip was before Valentine's Day and I like drop all these bags into my closet and I don't even think about them again until I'm ready to film. I bought Valentine's Day plates, okay? I wanted the kids to use this for all their activities that we did on Valentine's Day. We made Rice Krispie treats and we had special breakfast that, and lunches that were all cut in heart shapes. So that's what this is going to, was supposed to be for, so I guess I'm saving it for next year. Only one pack of nails this time. I really didn't see any nails that like really jumped out at me except this particular one. I had been looking for this one for a really long time and I'm really excited about it. So this one is like a tan color. Do you see like it's got the brown when you see it in the sunlight and then there's the white with the black flowers and then the one black nail. I absolutely love those. I'm obsessed with those nails. And then uh, my girlfriend Madison Pippins, she has a channel here on YouTube. I'll put her channel in the description box as well. Both of those girls rock out some DT hauls. So if you like Dollar Tree, check them out. Um, but Madison suggested that she uses these little hardware cases to store her sassy and cheek nails. And I think that's such a brilliant idea because I have boxes of these all over the place. So there is 12 slots in here. So I can fit 12 of these boxes in individual slots. And then when I'm gonna use some, I can replace them. So I thought this was a brilliant idea. So thank you, Madison. I went and looked for one specifically just to do what you said. So I cannot wait to get all of those nails out of my drawer and into this case. I did get a couple of these potted plants and I'm not going to use the pot that they're in. I did love this little cactus. I wasn't really sure how I was feeling about that little like weird circle thing on top. It's kind of like, I don't know, it almost looks like a pumpkin or something. It looks a little weird, but it's kind of authentic to like that kind of cactus. And then I love these little bamboo ones. Now, my Dollar Tree has never gotten the bunch of succulents. I've seen a bunch of people haul them. I've never seen them in all the flower like sections. I've never seen a bunch of succulents. I've only seen them in these little pots and I have a couple of little DIYs around my house where I've pulled the succulent out of the little pot and used it in something else. So I think I'm gonna do that with these. One of mine knocked over and all the pieces went everywhere. So I kinda need to reconstruct it. So I think I'm gonna work these three pieces into it and just put this out, I guess, for some summer decor. So while we're on the topic of fake flowers, I want a little fake flower cray cray. Uh, again, I kind of forgot what I bought the first time. So when I went the first time, I bought more of this stuff because I love all of these. Like, I don't know if you guys saw my other Dollar Tree haul where I hauled these glasses and this, but this is what I put those little cotton tails with the onion grass in this little thing. And it sits here on my desk and I absolutely love it because it's like definitely that 
farmhouse decor that everyone's going for. So I loved that. So I picked up a bunch more of these to do some more of that around the house. So I don't know how many of these guys I got. I think three. No. Wait. Hold on. It's a little crazy up in here. All right. So these are the cattails, and I got three of these. I think they're so cute, and these ones are different colors. Those ones I just showed you in there are like a whitish pink, but these are yellow, so I got three of those. And then I got one, two, three, four of the onion grass. Now in that one I showed you there's only two. I think it probably could have used one more. I think three is like a good estimate for one of those jars. So I got four this way. Maybe I can add one more to that one and then still have another bunch of three for another arrangement. So I got those. And then I got two of these guys. So these are the other kind of cattails, like the longer ones. So I may stick one in this one and then one in that one and be able to get like two good bouquets out of them. But I'm loving the fake flowers at the Dollar Tree. So those ones are really cute. And then today, this was sitting. Now, these are all individual, but they had like end cap potted displays. And they had various different flowers just sitting like a whole bunch. And I literally just grabbed the bunch, how they had it, and pulled it out and put it in my cart. Because look how pretty that looks, you guys. Isn't that like a really perfect spring bouquet? Like, I'm sure they did that on purpose, but... I literally just grabbed the whole thing like this and put it in my cart. So I got one of the yellow gladiolas, which I happen to have gladiolas in my yard. They look really pretty in real life. And those are very, very close. I love how real these flowers look. So this is like the purplish kind of wisteria. And then I got the white wisteria, which I think just looks so real. And then I got the darker purple, which almost looks like an iris. Love that one. And then the medium purple. So I feel like these look really good all together. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to stick them in. But maybe I'll stick them in. Are you ready? But ow! Have you guys seen this? Okay, so we've all gone crazy with these jars with the twine right okay and those are the ones I just showed you they had them in clear and blue and green I picked some up I even sent some to Nicole because she couldn't find them but I never saw one with the handle hello I felt like Nicole walking through there today I definitely was channeling her because every time I turned a corner I was like shut up Dollar Tree shut up that looks so cute like they they really had me today so I love this handle it's very nautical which is the whole theme that I'm going for and changing my bedroom over to so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like stick this in there or if I may you know I go to the beach and stuff over the summer I would have to cut these down anyways but I go to the beach and stuff over the summer so maybe collecting some like real sand and shells from our beach trip in this jar to like put as decor in here but oh my god was I so in love when I saw this I was in love with this little guy too I know a bunch of people have already hauled him but he's so cute so it says dairy milk by heritage company since 1810 and it's just a cute little beveled glass but I'm definitely going to use this for decor I actually imagined imagined this in the summertime with just one single sunflower in there I thought that would look so cute so I picked this guy up so many glass and breakable things in here I was like coming in like holding the bags out like this so that they didn't clank on anything but I've seen a bunch of people haul these too I know they're candle holders they're like bumpy on the side they had different ones they had gold they had a clear this is the silver one but I actually think I'm gonna keep this in my bathroom sitting on my sink with my hair ties and pieces in there I am constantly I always have hair ties on my wrist they're always lying around everywhere because I'm always pulling my hair back so I thought this would be a great place to gather them and because it's like where you can't see through it it's just gonna look like a cute little jar sitting on the counter and then you're not gonna know my hair ties are in there so that's why I picked this cute little thing up I found the planters I found the planters 
I was like walking around in a daze today because I was like checking one thing after another off of my list. I was so excited. So I picked up two of these and I picked up ones that were different. Um, I know that some of these ones say flowers and planter. Um, uh, flowers and garden just the way that this one says the flowers and garden but um, I got the floors and planter just so it would look a little bit different I love this long one and I think that I'm gonna keep this like maybe near my kitchen sink with all of my different soaps in there I thought that would be really cute and then this guy I'm just gonna use for decor and put him around maybe with that milk jug and some of these flowers lying in the, around I'm so excited I can't start I I can't even speak. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. I can't wait to start putting all this stuff together and doing DIYs with them. Like, super stoked. How stinking cute are these? Oh my God. I never got to get any of the salt and pepper shakers around Christmas time. I wanted the Santa ones that they had and I was never able to score any of them. But these little bunny ones are so cute. They did have chicks. I didn't get the chicks. I got the bunnies. I don't have any bunny salt and pepper shakers, so I'm really excited about this. And how do you beat this cute quality for a buck? So speaking of Easter, I did pick up this Easter ribbon. I have a bunch of different places that I put ribbon on throughout my house and I change it out for every season. So I picked this one up that has all these different spring flowers on it. I just thought these this was so cute. They had one that was the same pastel kind of print colors, but it was Easter eggs. I almost bought that, but I feel like that was just only indicative of Easter where this I feel like I can keep out all spring long. I picked up two of these little garden signs and although they have the hanging twine, I'm not going to hang them up. I'm going to use them as stepping stones in my garden. Um, so my aunt passed away, my godmother, like very suddenly from leukemia back in November and some of these pieces just really made me think of her so for a dollar it was totally worth it to get them and like I said put them as little stepping stones as like memorial pieces in my garden. So when I made my, I'm Catholic, and when I made my confirmation, you have to choose an extra name that you're going to take on. And the confirmation name that I took on was Hope. So every time my aunt saw anything that had Hope on it, she would always buy it for me. And my heart's a little broken. I don't have anybody to buy me my Hope stuff anymore. So um, I bought this for myself, and I'm going to put this one beside her so she was obsessed with everything that said faith um she had a little uh what do you call those dogs like the taco bell dogs like a chihuahua um she had one of those dogs and she uh the dog's name was faith this is what she had written on her license plate so this was really big for her and ladybugs always make me think of my grandmother so i thought these would be really nice tribute pieces in my garden so sticking with the whole garden theme, I had one number one wish list item in mind when I went out today. I said, that's it. I need to film this haul and I'm not going to film it until I find this one last thing. And I'm not leaving the store until I find it. And sure enough, I crawled on my hands and knees and found two on the bottom shelf. And I found my terrariums. I wanted these things so bad. Everybody keeps finding them and decorating with them and doing DIYs with them. But I wanted them too. And I was starting to reach out to some of my friends, talk about, you need to get me some of these terrariums. But I did find two. And then I went a little crazy on the stuff to fill it. So I love this guy, although this guy does not fit in the terrarium, but I think I'm just gonna put him like in between the two terrariums. I don't really know, but I love this little mushroom guy. Like he's so, so sweet love him the detail and everything oh my goodness so cute and then so here's the other terrarium so this is the two that i got and then oh my goodness i went a little crazy with what i'm gonna put inside because i couldn't decide so i like bought it all so i did buy a packet of this reindeer moss and that's what i'm gonna use inside the terrarium to fill on the bottom to give it like a foresty kind of feel especially since a lot of this stuff was like the mushrooms, the gnomes, the fairies, whatever. 
So this one I love. It says welcome and it's got the mushrooms and the gate and the little wooded sign. So this does fit in there pretty well. So that's probably one of the ones that I'll use. And then like here's all the little stinking things to decorate it. Like I can't. So here's the little gnomes. I love the little gnomes. They're so cute. And then and this one was like accessories. This one's a bird bath, a wagon, and a watering can that has a mushroom growing out of it. So I grabbed that one. And then this one was another thing of mushrooms, and then a thing of flowers, and then another thing of flowers with a little birdie on it. Like, come on with those Dollar Tree. So cute. Then I got these. These are the three fairies that they had. So we're definitely going to add a little bit of fairies to our garden. Come on and focus into the pretty fairies. Oh my goodness. It was so cute. And then this one was the final one that I got on cardstock. But this one has a snail, a turtle, and the stinking owl. Like, shut up. I can't. So in love with that. And then the one that I got for the other terrarium, like the main one, is this little gazebo. And again, the detail on this, like the bamboo of the roof and all the little windows and the flowers and the... Oh my god! I, can't, I literally can't wait to do this project. And I was like skipping through the store when I found these because that was the number one item. I went with my girlfriend Leanne and I was like, see, I told you I wasn't leaving today without it. And mama did not leave the store without it. I'm hauling these like crazy because ever since I hauled the first one, everyone's been like, oh my God, Kira, I need that sign. So every time I see one, I pick up one. Um, Madison just sent me her address, so I have to get this out to her. But my friend Madison Pippins, the one I told you I'm going to attach her um, channel in the description box, she's been looking for this, so I said I would pick this up for her. So this is the one that says, first I drink the coffee and then I do the things. And I love it, and it's hung up in my kitchen, and it's probably one of my favorite DT signs thus far. I got these St. Patrick's like window clings. There's a nine of them on here. The kids love to decorate with them. The ones I had for Valentine's Day, they were not feeling. They kept taking them off and not putting them back on. But the ones for Christmas and Thanksgiving, they were really like having fun with them. So I hope they're not over it because I did just pick them this one up for St. Patrick's Day. So once we take down the Valentine's Day decor, then we'll put this up. So I've seen everyone hauling these and I was so glad to find them because these are so stinking cute. I got these for my planner. So there's an elephant. It says crush it. Hello. There's a pineapple, a diamond. I don't know. They were wicked cute. Um, I know there's not a lot in here, especially since there are plenty of sticker packs you can get from the Dollar Tree that have way more, but I fell in love with these. All right. Help me out, guys. This is the book that I hauled last time, The Woman with a Secret, and this is about a mom who has all these secrets, and then, like, it gets out, and how she's been keeping it from her family, and, like, how the secrets getting out are changing her life. Well, I talked about it in the last one, and somebody said that they went looking for this book and couldn't find it. I thought they commented on my video, and I went back and looked, and the comment wasn't there, so I'm thinking maybe it was in when... I was in my friend Vanessa, the Lemonade Moms Live, that somebody said that to me. I don't really know. So if you said to me at one point that you were looking for this book and you wanted to find it and you couldn't, shout out to me because I picked it up for you and now I can't find who you were. So whoever you are finds me because I don't want that to be a secret. So I found these little Halloween steak like board signs you know we've been loving their wood signs but these ones are so pretty and these ones are meant to stake in the ground now i think i'm going to be weary of where i put them because they are still press board so if it rains i feel like these are going to get destroyed so i don't really want to put them any place they'll get really yucky but i picked up that one and then i picked up this one and I just think they're so stinking cute and glittery and pretty. So I think I'm going to put them as close to my door as I can so they don't get ruined. 
Okay, so I went a little sign crazy, but I've been trying to get some signs, and everywhere I go, the quality is like the same as the Dollar Tree, but not a dollar. So I've been like on the hunt for all the best ones that I could find. So I had grabbed this one first like a while ago because I hadn't found anything else. And so I felt like I was just kind of settling because this was the nicest out of what I had seen. So it just says Easter greetings and the greetings is in glitter. Um, and I thought that one was cute, but not my favorite, but I couldn't find anything else. But then today I hit the jackpot. So I finally found this one. I love this. It says, welcome to our home. It's got the carrots on it, and it's the old farmhouse wood feel. It's got the galvanized metal up top and on the bottom. Like, so cute. Look at that. Love it. And then I got this guy. Like, look how cute this guy is. I love him. He's so sweet. I love it. It just looks like something like very Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And this is a dollar, you guys. So I picked this one up. I just think he's so sweet and so cute. And I cannot wait to hang him up. So I got him. And then I got this one. Yay! So it says, we believe in the Easter Bunny. And he has a little burlap bow tie on his neck. Okay, so cute. And then he's all glittery. And then it says, although we believe in the Easter Bunny is in glitter. And it's in the staggered wood. And I am legit obsessed with these socks. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that it was Vanessa the Lemonade Mom that hauled these, but I've seen Shelly from Shelly's Home Life use stuff similar, but these are these little veggie storage containers that actually look like old-fashioned cartons that you would get like blueberries or strawberries in. So I picked up three of them because I've had plenty of fruits and vegetables that go bad just from not being properly stored in the refrigerator so i picked these up for organization and hopefully some extra longevity on our fruits and veggies it does say that they are reusable it says that they are freezer and dishwasher safe but it does say not recommended for the microwave but i really can't imagine anybody microwaving their fruit uh, but they are bpa free and they're by cooking concepts and they have lock and tops and i got red green and purple so this is how you know that you have kids when you're going through things and you find something that you didn't know slipped through the cracks and got paid for because seriously guys, what the heck do we need shattering teeth for? Really? I picked up this cupcake kit and I think it's a really cute idea. I've seen a bunch of people do this when they do their lunch videos for their kids where they use these cupcake holders to separate their kids' goodies in their lunch boxes. So this one just has Easter eggs on it and there's 18 in here. But what I really love is the picks because not that I'm able to use that for Jake right now, but my four-year-old will finally get to go to school in August. He's been dying to go to school, so he finally gets to go. And I know that packing lunch for him is going to be so fun because he's the kid who loves to eat everything, where Jacob is the hard one. So I can't wait to do really fun things for Mason's lunch. So when I see things like this, I'm already being proactive and picking up for next year. I don't know if I'm ever going to do this, honestly, but for a buck, I kind of had to give it a try. One of my goals for this year was to be a lot more cardio active just for my own health purposes. And so I was thinking that maybe if I show it here and hold myself accountable and say it to you guys that I have a better shot of doing it. And I love Jillian Michaels because who doesn't want a body that looks like that? Because Lord knows I do because mine certainly does not look like that. So there's a level one and a level two and there's it says it's killer cardio and I really love it. It's a 25 minute DVD and I usually get about two hours of nap time from Maya. So I'm thinking if I start making it where she naps I do a video shower and then I still have time to put my face on and do some filming that that'll be really good for me so one of my trips to the DT was the day after Valentine's Day and I really wasn't over the moon about any of their discounted Valentine's Day stuff but I did scoop up these bag of starbursts 
Now, Jake really loves these. There's 10 fun size packs. So there's two Starbursts in each fun size pack. So there's 20 Starbursts in each. So I got 40 Starbursts for a dollar. I don't think that's the end of the world. But just because there's hearts on here, I don't feel like it looks so Valentine's Day. So I'm actually going to open these and use these to scatter on the bottom of their Easter baskets because there's nothing indicative of Valentine's Day. And even if there was like big whoop de doo So um, these are actually going to be Easter basket fillers. Another wish list item of mine because everybody's been hauling these really cute and super sweet night lights and I wanted one for Maya's room. So I got this one that says somewhere over the rainbow and I thought this was really pretty. Like it's definitely different but what I love is can you see if there's kind of tiny a little bit of writing here at the bottom because in small print it says dance with fairies and ride a unicorn. And like I've mentioned, I'm all about my unicorn, so I can't wait to put this in her room. I think it's super cute. I can't even believe that I'm at this last item. I feel like this Dollar Tree haul has gone on forever. Um, but the last thing that I got was one of these vacuum storage bags. So I mentioned that I got some really good tips from Madison. Well, this was another tip from her as well. She said she used these and they worked really well. Uh, I've always been kind of leery about whether or not they were going to work or not. But I grabbed one because I have a bunch of quilts that we just keep stuffing underneath the bed. And we really needed to like vacuum storage. So this is one of those vacuum storage, the large ones. You do only get one in here, but you kind of can't beat it for a buck because the ones that have like the three packs by Ziploc are like $20 in Walmart. So if these work out great, I'm going to go back for the dollar and score a couple of more. Okay guys, so that's it for this Dollar Tree haul. I'm so glad you guys stuck it out until the end. Thank you so much. There was always so much here and I go so often, but then I'm going to be putting up Dollar Tree hauls like every other day because I'll go in just to see if I can get my wish list items. So I'm there way too frequently to do a haul every time I go. So I just keep stockpiling and then I end up with this gigantic one. So thank you so much for your patience and for sticking around. If you guys are new, I hope you'll take the time to subscribe. I do a Dollar Tree haul at least every other week, sometimes more often. This has become a problem, so I find myself there a little bit more than I should be. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.